Hi, welcome to Big Screens Nation. As you can see, I need a haircut. It's, it's this lockdown thing has really brought my beard out, you know, mustache, everything. And I think it's time for it to get neatened up and it's time for this to get cut down. So then by the time my next video you see it, I will have taken up my shaver and I will sit down and shave my own head. Or I'll find someone to do it for me. Anyway, so the film I'm going to talk about today is called Dark Light, right? This film is new out on Netflix, yeah? And it's about a woman who has a child and a ex-husband, yeah? And, you know, she's in the house and the house seems like it's been haunted. There's some sort of creature running around the house and you just see glimpses of it, really. And, you know, she tries to basically um it just looks like the woman's crazy and it looks like she's killed her child and killed her, uh, her ex-husband and then the film just kind of goes into your story about you know how that situation occurred but i mean with that said it's, it's totally different from the way i start the film starts off so i must say that i give them props in the way how you know, they created a different scene to, you know, what the film's kind of like. Like, it gives you a preception of how, you know, the film's going to be. But it's totally different from that. So, I rate them for that. But anyway, let's talk a little bit about, about the story. you got this mum who basically, you know, has come back to a, a old house, yeah, that belonged to her mum where she grew up. So, she's come back there with her daughter you know, kind of settle down and live and stuff like that. Uh, you know, her ex-boyfriend knows that she, well, her ex-husband knows that she moved in, so he's come and, to come and check on her and check, well, mainly check on the door, and kind of like, you know, check on her, and then you see them getting into little, you know, little, you know, ex arguments, you know, if you've got your exes and stuff like that, you kind of know how they go, you know, they get into one of those sort of things. And then after that, you know, this is, this is the part where I feel like the film kind of, you know what, right? This film has some really stupid bits in it, right? And I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about that because it prompted me, right? So at night time, right, the, the house that belongs to this, this the woman and her daughter, yeah, used to belong to the woman's mum, right? So anyway, right, they've got a cornfield outside, yeah? Now it's night time, late at night. So what does mum decide to do? She decides to take um, the door outside to play a game of tag running through the cornfield at night. To me, that does not make sense. It does not make sense at all how you can be like you got your child, you got your young child, you're taking them out to play, you know, tag hide and seek in a cornfield at night. You know, there could be animals out there, there could be aliens out there, there could be weird creatures out there, there could be, you know, uh, murderers, all sorts in a cornfield at night. So you don't hear her no more. So basically, you know, that's the sort of scenario what happens. You know, she's, they're resting about in the cornfield. They see some lights beaming and they look like searchlights. So they like, you know, lights beaming. And through that, you kind of can kind of tell that something strange is going to happen. The girl goes missing. And the mum's like thinking, oh, 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 Emily, Emily, because the girl's name is Emily, right? The, the mum's daughter's name is Emily. Emily, Emily, where are you? Looking for her. She looks, somehow, the girl ends up on the roof of their house. Now, this ain't a one-story house. This is like a two-story house, isn't it? So she's on the roof of, of a two-story house. Yeah. And obviously, whatever was out there, one of them's going to pick her up and put her there. Yeah. So, with that said, she calls the police. The police come out, wondering what's going on and stuff like that thinking that she might be crazy. <sighs> then, you know, next next day, you know, you know, she sees the husband and all sorts of stuff. 
like that it's kind of tells them what's going on and you know you know it looks like she's crazy to the outside of it, it looks like she's crazy but she knows what she's seeing she knows she's seeing like strange things happen this is no proof from outside but anyway with that said another another thing i found kind of silly in the film right is the fact that Like, the woman, basically, his daughter's nose is bleeding. Yeah. So, you know, they clean her up, whatever, stuff like that. But later on, her nose starts bleeding again. But this is after, like, a, you know, an alien encounter. Yeah. And, well, basically, I'll talk about an alien encounter a bit, right? She hears a noise at the door, right? This woman hears like noise at the door she kind of like comes out and kind of checks what's going on because the daughter goes to sleep in her, the woman's bedroom her mom's bedroom like mom lets her sleep in her bedroom but do you know what she does she kind of leaves the door open knowing what happened to the daughter last time the door ended up on the top of the house and some strange phenomenon yeah she said yeah you can sleep in my room yeah but then when she when she kind of like goes to the front door and sees that there's nothing there. She kind of sees lights in the distance. So she goes outside with a shotgun, leaves the front door open. To leave way past the house to where the cornfield is with the gun. What happens? You can most probably guess what happens, yeah? And that's why I find some of these things they put in these films, it's like, at least make it realistic. A parent is not going to leave their young child alone after a weird phenomenon of the first mistake you made, playing in the cornfield and being left at the top of a house. It don't make sense. It don't make sense. But anyway, so she's in another situation now where that happens. Yeah. And the, the, this little girl is found, you know, on the roadside because the mum can't find the girl this time. The girl's disappeared. Yeah. Because the, the creatures took the girl. Well, wherever it was, took the girl. Yeah. So she disappeared, right? She's calling the police. Now, when the police is kind of driving the car to come up, the sheriff is kind of driving to come up to the house to find out what's going on. The sheriff finds a little girl in the middle of the road, in the middle of, like, on her way there. So then she brings the girl back to the house, you know, starts questioning all sorts of stuff like that. And then the girls, you know, the woman starts talking about she's going to refer to social services. I think the sheriff is about right in assessing that this girl may need to be going to social services. Because obviously this mum has called the police two different incidents where, you know, this girl is like unaccounted for. You know, it kind of questions, you know, <laughs> someone's logically thinking, what are you doing as a mum? Yeah. I know it's trying to protect her, but come on. Go fix up. So anyway, so it's that kind of kind of film. So it's got a lot of it's got a lot of those kind of bits in the film. Not to mention that they eventually reveal what, you know, abducted the girl. And it happens to be one of these alien things, right? Now, these aliens, right, the thing, reason why the film's called Dark Light, right, because these aliens actually like to feed off the light that comes from people, yeah? And these aliens have got some big, chunky lights on their head that beams like torches, yeah? And then this part of their face is like hum humanoid. So just imagine this, like, half my face like this. This is some big off light. And this is my, my alien humanoid type. Mouths, it's got, it's got mouth and stuff like that, so they can eat and bite and stuff. So it, it's like that, right? <sighs> the aliens like to feed off light of people, and they love the light of children because their light is pure. So, with that said, I'll ask you a question: If the aliens liked light like to feed off light of people and they like to feed off the pure light of a, of a child as their favorite because of the pureness of the light that comes from them why did the aliens pick up this girl move her around twice and not feast on her now it takes for them it takes later on in the film 
for them to actually get the girl again. But this is one alien on his own, one of these sort of things on his own. Gets the girl, gets her ex-husband, managed to get them, kidnap them and take them and, you know, try and feed on them. Stuff like that. Now, it took that long for it to feast. When it should have been the very first time, it would have been like, ooh. It's like you got Kentucky Fried Chicken sitting there, nice and hot and fresh. Yeah. Are you going to wait till your Kentucky Fried Chicken goes cold so that you have to reheat it? Or you have to, you know... Food is always best when it's fresh. Yeah. Forget about Kentucky Fried Chicken because I don't really eat Kentucky Fried Chicken, but just I'm just using that example, right? Food is like fresh, yeah. Food is best fresh, especially when it's cooked fresh. So you got this girl that's fresh. Ain't ain't they gonna wanna take her and just drain the light out of her there and then? Or maybe take them back to their place and you know, get comfortable and do it. Why does it wait how many times of actually getting the girl, moving the girl places to then go and do it? The film was okay. It's a typical type of those type of films, kind of. It's thrillish, it's thrillerish, it's sci fi ish, it's. I can't really call it a horror. It just don't have that horror thing. I mean, if you're just like a horror of the 60s, yeah, but I can't call it that. Anyway, I would say this film is okay, yeah. But to be honest, I'm not really. I wasn't really in a, a mood. And I like films that I'm not in a mood that can just kind of like change my mood. This film was like, oh, for flip's sake, why is this happening? Oh, for flip's sake, what's that happening? Oh, for flip's sake, what is going on? It's like it's like one of those films where you shout at the TV, what are you doing? But I guess that's what they want from us, isn't it? So I guess it works. Anyway, I'd say I'll give this film two and a half. It's half good and it's half bad. Dark Light. Your choice to watch it. If you watched it, you will understand what I'm saying. Dark Light. Look, like, subscribe. Please share my videos if you like them. You know, um, click the notification bells and I'll be doing more videos on a weekly basis. Please keep note, keep in touch. If you've got any ideas for me for any new videos, any new things on Prime or Netflix, you know, just message me. Yeah, a request for me to review something and I'll review it for you. Okay, thanks.